What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode with Lolos and More. Now today I'm gonna install my new chain steering wheel right there. Now um I've had this steering wheel for well over a year and I haven't been able to get the right kit to uh install in my in my truck. That's because it'll make kits for Dakotas. Which sucks. So, but anyways, anything with this truck kind of sucks because I either have to custom make it or buy a part that somewhat fits and then customize it to make it fit. Which sucks because it'll make, you know, parts for these first gen Dakotas. So, Dodge Dakota. But we're going to go ahead and get started. And for me. I'm, I know I'm going to run into an issue about hooking up the the horn on my truck on this steering wheel. Because they don't make these kits for my truck. So I might have to make a remote button somewhere on, to make it work. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to make it work with this adapter. So, the first things first, it's pretty simple to take off the, the steering wheel. Um, there's about three or four screws holding this in. I don't have an airbag, so it's easier for me. So, there's either three or four screws holding this in, the horn. And then, um, and then we'll go from there. So, but I already took my screws off. So, it's easy as that. So, there we go. <clears throat> I did already disconnect my horn. Just a couple of wires. Just one wire, really. This one wire right here. Never mind. There was one more wire running through here. And this wire, we're both connected to the horn. One right here and one right here. So, I, I disconnected those. But it's kind of similar to what you guys might have if you guys do all yours. So, next step is uh, loosening up this nut right here. Just loosen it up a little bit. A little bit right there. Yeah, and then you're going to want to use a, a puller to get that out. Um, all stock steering wheels have um, places where you can uh, put bolts in, like right here and right here. Because they do get stuck. So you'll need a puller like this. You can get a different puller. There's different styles of pullers. Uh, this one I got a Harbor Freight for 12 13 bucks. So not bad. So all you want to do. Is stick those two bolts. Right there in those holes. These need the holes. And then you want to center this black bolt in the middle. Just and then tighten it. And then lo and it loosens up the steering wheel. So, and then with that, once the steering wheel is loose, take the nut off all the way, and then the steering wheel comes right off. So, you guys can kind of say I cheated on this video, but here's my horn assembly. You can say, um. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not going to be able to use this. I'll have to take it off completely because the adapter doesn't even fit if this is in place. If this is in place, my adapter doesn't fit. So I have to take it off and then I am going to have to wire somehow my horn. So I'm going to have to give it direct source power, shit like that, whatever. So, put you guys over here and see what is next. So. Be right back real quick. So after taking everything off, um, next goes the adapter itself. Um, it has a top point, a little arrow right here. So you want to follow that. So um, when you have the correct um, adapter for your car, obviously I don't. You have the correct adapter and stuff, the, the correct kit, I should say. 
you would want to run your um, horn wire through one of these two holes and then depending on what hole it is if it's going through this hole then you can run it through this little slot right here and then it's going to come back out this way or if it's a different style then it goes through here so that's where you want to run that horn wire it's like a grounding wire that's what activates your horn so slid that on right there and then next goes your uh, your post cover right here next goes this and then you want to run your horn wire through here put that on there and then next goes your um, steering wheel and then you're going to align the holes and then your horn wire the grounding wire would go through the that hole right there too and the next goes on your your uh, contact ring so with all these three items you gotta align them and then um, uh, bolt them down at the same time so you gotta align this kind of it's kind of a pain um, and once you got the wire through you're gonna connect it right here to this part yeah because when you push down on the horn uh, the metal back here makes contact with the steering wheel like a ground and it activates the horn. So, let's do that real quick. Put one bolt in first. First one started. So for now, I'm just going to hand tighten everything, and I'm going to go back to tightening everything up later, because I'm going to replace the column housing, so I'm not going to tighten everything right now, but you would tighten these down to uh, somewhere between 10 and 15 foot-pounds, and the next goes on your steering wheel nut. And the steering wheel nut, you want to tighten that to 30 to 35 foot pounds, which isn't too much. You can probably just do that by hand, just by cranking as much. I don't know. But yeah, just 30 foot pounds. So once you got that tightened, the last thing is your horn cap. But you want to put the spring in there so it pulls away the contact away from the steering wheel for when you want to use the horn you know that probably didn't make sense but you, you probably get what I'm saying by just by looking so after your wire after your wire is hooked up to this clip right here pretty much just uh, put your spring in and hold it in place as you can and put it in there now your horn button has a uh, these little tabs in here and there's these tab opening tabs right here on the clip where you push in and then twist and it should hold so
so that's how it is obviously on your guys's kits it would be working in working condition since it'll make kits from my truck I'm gonna have to figure out something with the horn I can't even wire it to the steering wheel because it's a pain um, but yeah that's a simple way of doing it um, obviously before you start working on this part of installing the new steering wheel you want to disconnect the horn or else you're going to be bothering your neighbors every few seconds trying to put this cap on but that's it for today um, I haven't been doing much videos lately I've been busy with other stuff and then getting stuff ready for my car show and stuff like that uh, which don't forget it's uh, July 7th um, Saturday uh, happening in Northeast Portland at the Sears outlet parking lot on 122nd and Sandy Boulevard um, come check it out you can find the event on Facebook it's called uh, bringing it back by outbreak car club so bring it bring it back car show of course but yeah um hopefully this helps you guys out this is pretty much the same kind of process for a lot of cars um the kit also comes with instructions which is pretty easy to follow of course it's easy to hook up when you got the right kit for your car so hopefully you guys like the video if you did if you guys did please hit that like button um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. That'll help me out a lot, and it'll help me motivate and keep track, uh, you know, and record what I'm doing to my truck or to whatever or how to next. Um, but yeah, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so it lets you guys know every time I'm upload. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.